Dovex, that's both a materials library in central London and an exhibition space. And particularly in the exhibition space and events, we're really looking to further our knowledge and understanding of our own materials. So we like to be pushed and challenged by young designers and also established practices. The story that Space Popular brought to us around the glass chain and particularly the German Werkbund, the glass manufacturers in 1914, who commissioned Bruno Taut to create the pavilion. That was really a gift that gave us such amazing parallels to then what we're doing here at the Werkstatt, um, using our materials to inspire and begin a conversation with architects. The big difference uh, from how they were exploring and seeing the potential of glass to the way in which we are working with this in this particular case uh, is that actually we're working with glass as an opaque material. So actually we're working with glass as a material that now needs to have content. Then you are looking at the content in the glass. Very similarly to how we look at our, the screens on our phones. We were specifically interested in, in digital printing, which is what, uh, one thing that Stowe offers. So this is just a printing sample and this whole uh, structure here is digitally printed with a ceramic ink that's burnt into the sheet of glass itself. And we were very interested in this for many, many reasons, but mainly because it can almost be seen like a virtual layer burnt into, into a two-dimensional surface, in this case glass, mm -hmm. and in these cases in the rest of the exhibition into fabrics. So the building that we created is essentially a virtual building that exists really only in a virtual realm. We're very interested in the the fact that your gaze might jump from point to point trying to make sense of what you're seeing and then in that process kind of getting confused to what it actually is and therefore creating curiosity and, and more interest for discovering more. Essentially in this design process our aim is to really think about the human mind as the ultimate architectural site, that that is where the real effect is in the experience of architecture. Spaces like Stowerworks that are instrumental in establishing links between uh, material companies and designers and architects. Um, it is in spaces like this where really innovation happens.